Moshe Rabbeinu says to Klal Yisroel, Ati Yisroel Shema Lachukim Velamishpotim, Sharanochim Lamedeschim Lasos. Listen to the statutes and the laws which I'm teaching you to do. We find throughout the Torah, Chukim always precede Mishpotim. Rashi always cites Chazal, Mishpotim are laws which are rational laws that even if the Torah wouldn't have stated them, we would have come upon them ourselves, such as not to steal, not to damage, not to injure. To have a society, these laws have to be in place. Otherwise, we can't have a livable society. These are Mishpotim. So if that is the case, seemingly, Moshe Rabbeinu says Mishpotim, which are the more rational, we understand ourselves, and Chukim, which are much more difficult to understand. Yet, whenever the Torah states, Chuk Mishpotim, Chukim always precede Mishpotim. Always. The question is why? Although Mishpotim are laws, which are rational laws, which can relate to ourselves, but the question is why did HaKadosh Baruch Hu communicate these laws to us as being part of Tariq Mitzvahs? It's unrelated because you cannot have a society without, if people are lawless. A lawless, it's not that's the, the reason. It somehow ha- addresses our spiritual makeup, which is unrelated to our physical existence. As the chukim, although we cannot fathom, because there's no rational basis to understand what exactly is the value of the chok, but observing the chok has relevance to our neshama, to our spirituality, to perfect it, to advance it. Identically, the mishpatim are the same things. The laws, although we understand, we can relate to them, nevertheless, in their essence, they're chukim. God never revealed why you must do it. We have certain things, edus. Edus, we eat matzah, we tell over the story of Mitzrayim, the bondage, the redemption, certain things. But even there, they're called edus, it's a testament, but in terms of its innate value, it's chukim. Everything's chukim. Therefore, always, it's chukim, then mishpotim. To, get, to give us an understanding, that even the mishpotim are chukim, the statutes of God. Now, there's a beautiful balaturim here. The Torah tells us you're not permitted to add to the Torah, you're not permitted to, tr- to dra- detract from the Torah. It says, Lo sivu adover, lo sigru mimenu. So the Baal Turim writes, Lo sigru mimenu lishmor es. Do not detract from it to observe es. If you take the last letters of each of these words, Sof tev is tayag. Tigru mimenu es is tayag. Meaning, you're not permitted to detract from them because then you're minimizing and it's no longer taryag. Taryag has relevance to the totality of the spirituality of the Jew. If you detract any one of those mitzvahs, it's no longer taryag. So again, what is the mitzvah? But I want to add, or I feel something has no longer relevance. What we feel, we believe, what we understand is totally irrelevant. Because in terms of its essence of what it is, it's not based on the, its rational understanding. It's based on what? On the reality of, of what it actually it addresses. And that doesn't change. Every Jerabonin we have, we have multiple endless rabbinical laws. But what are rabbinical laws? That's not adding to the Torah. These offenses, this is securing the Torah that Hashem gave us. Even the Jerabonin, the rabbinical laws, they cannot be add-ons. They're not add-ons. Every one of them addresses to secure the Torah itself. The Gemara tells us, Ein ro- novi A novi is not permitted to introduce a new mitzvah. And if he introduces a mitzvah, it's clear he's a novi sheker, he's a false prophet. Because again, what is the spiritual profile of a Jew? What addresses every aspect of his spirituality? That's tayag. If you detract from it, it's no longer tayag. And this is, Osigru mimenu lishmor es, the last letters, a what spell tayag so again even the rational law is in truth a statute